All right, it's Tuesday, June 26th, and this is the $20 Wii U lot that I picked up for 20 bucks. So the backstory behind this is I was just chilling at home after work. I looked on uh, Facebook Marketplace and I saw this. Well, actually I saw these as the first picture and it said Wii U 20 bucks. So I thought they, they were just the games at first. So I looked at him and I was like, okay, that's pretty decent for, you know, 20, that's way more than decent for 20 bucks. So I messaged him saying I was interested just to kind of show my interest in whatever he was selling. And then I saw that you could swipe for another picture and the other picture had a Wii U console and uh, it also had some accessories and everything that's in this box right here, right there. So basically all this was on a table. The Facebook price said 20 bucks, but in his description, he said he, he wanted 35 for all. So I scrolled down and it said update. The Wii U does not read discs, so $20 takes all. So I basically got a, a, I got a quick reply back, and so I messaged him back saying, hey, I'm interested in this item, and he said, you did read the part where it says it doesn't read discs anymore, right? And I was like, yep. So, you know, how much is it? You know, I was a little confused on whether it was 35 or 20, so he said 20 would be fine. So as soon as he said that, I said, I'm on my way. So I pretty much dropped whatever I was doing, uh, drove out there, he was about 20 minutes away, and um, I picked all the stuff up, um, and it was actually, it was really 20 bucks. I was like, I can't believe this is 20 bucks. Um, the, he did say the gamepad worked. So at least the gamepad and the games, you know, were worth more than 20 bucks, even if the console didn't work. So I fired it up, put a disc in and it said, what, invalid disc error or something like that. So I did some research on YouTube and, um, tried, you know, I was going to try and make a makeshift cleaning disc to see if it was a lens issue, but I was like, ah, eh, it looks too complicated. And plus, I didn't have any cleaning cloth to tape to the bottom of the disc. So I decided to take the thing apart. So I um, YouTubed a how to assemble Wii U and found one video which was very helpful. And I pulled the whole thing apart and opened up the optical drive. And sure enough, there was a little purple kid's toy in it. Um, it was this thing here. So that was causing the Wii U optical drive to not read discs because it was probably blocking the laser or or something so um i took that out put it all back together again and put in super mario bros um the new super mario bros u in there and sure enough it read it so 20 bucks got me a working well after fixing it a working wii u all these games and all these accessories there's about four wiimotes in there one nunchuck two steering wheels um the instruction manuals for the actual console um, and all the hookups. So not a bad deal for 20 bucks. And if you uh, hang tight, I will show you some quick clips of me uh, actually disassembling the whole thing and discovering the toy and of course uh, making it work. So stay tuned. All right, so I just completely disassembled the Wii U. Um, there's this little purple thing in here. I'm not really sure if that is a kids toy or if that's what's causing the disc read errors um i don't even know how i'm gonna be able to get this out but it does look like it might be part of it actually um i'm just wondering if that it's like part of the underside of that or something um i've never disassembled a wii u before so that looks like the i don't even know what that is um, but I can't get it out. So hopefully I'll, I'll do some more research on YouTube to see if somebody has a completely disassembled drive to see if this is part of the drive assembly. Um, it, I think it might be it, but it might be part of it. So, all right. So I just got done removing this little toy from inside there. So I'm hoping that this was like blocking the, the laser preventing it from reading the discs so um if, i don't know what, what this is it looks like a little toy or something but it's got a paw print on it so i'm going to just um pop the assembly back on and then um see if i can get a, a disc to read now
Come on, baby. Look at that shit. Holy crap, it works. So uh, Wednesday night, I spent most of my evening trying to fix that Wii U that I got for 20 bucks. Got it working. Finally laid down about midnight. This popped up on offer up. It was about six hours old. Um, I figured I probably missed out on it already, but I messaged the seller anyways. Didn't get a reply back, of course, because it was late, but I decided to try to at least show some interest. So on my way to work this morning at about 7.05, he decides to message me saying he still had it. I told him that I was on my way to work and I could swing by and pick it up if that was a, an option, and he said sure. So got to his house, picked this up, and I was able to get to work on time. So for $30, I got a blue, a cobalt, and black DS light. The hinge is kind of loose, um, but it works. Power's on. It's got the it's got the charger, and it came with these great games. We've got Spyro, Season of Ice, Riviera, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, Zelda The Minish Cap, Broken Sword, Namco Museum, Golden Sun, Final Fantasy 1 and 2, Fantasy Star Collection, DK King of Swing, Shadowgate Classic, and finally Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Alright, so today is Thursday, June 28th, and these are my pickups. So this morning at about 8.45ish, I checked on Facebook Marketplace because I do, you know, I have notifications. I check it every, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes if I have time. And this ad popped up for a Super Nintendo lot for 40 bucks. The ad was only, I don't know, 13 minutes old. It had one view. But as soon as I clicked, I'm interested, the guy marked it as sold. So I messaged him immediately saying, hey, um, that was pretty quick. Um, did you delist it to uh, reprice it or did it really sell? So I didn't get a reply back from him, so I figured, you know, either he is looking up all the prices and maybe, you know, going to relist at a higher price, or it actually sold that quick. So it turns out a couple of hours later, my friend um, posted on his personal Facebook page that he scored on a huge Super Nintendo lot for 40 bucks, and sure enough, it was the lot that I missed on. So I messaged him immediately and I said, hey, um, I'm glad you were the one that got that lot. And he, we, you know, we kind of laughed about it because he said that he was on his way to work and he raced over to the middle of nowhere to go pick this up. Um, so he said, I'll, you know, I'd, I'd be glad to sell you, you know, what I don't keep. So uh, after maybe about an hour and a half, um, he had messaged me back saying, okay, I pulled two games out of the lot and you can, you can have the rest. So the games that he pulled out was uh, Maximum Carnage and a copy of Super Mario Kart. And so pretty much everything else that he had left over, he decided to just give me a price of 110 bucks for it. So for 110 bucks, I got two Super Nintendos and he tested them. Um, they both work. That one has a rattle in it though. Um, we've got Space Ace, Rocketeer, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. We've got Balls, Zelda, Arrow the Acrobat, NBA Jam TE, Super Mario Kart, uh, Spider-Man, We've got Congo, Congo's Caper, which I don't have, Paperboy 2, Mortal Kombat 2, Super Mario World. And then down here we have Batman Returns, another copy of Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Super Black Bass, Jurassic Park, another copy of Super Mario World. And then we have Super Star Wars, John Madden 93, Super Street Fighter 2, and Mortal Kombat 3. So 110 bucks for that. Um, I went to a pawn shop after this meetup. Uh, and um, they had this listed at 10 bucks. Um, so I picked it up. I looked it up and it was, this is like almost an $80 game. Um, so I did some research on why it was so expensive. And I guess this is one of those low print, um, you know, released near the end of the Wii U's life cycle. So um, it's supposed to be like a Mario Kart based type game, but with Hello Kitty characters. So 10 bucks is not a bad deal for something, you know, that's worth 80 bucks. And literally that's all you know, that's the only reason why it's worth that much is not because of the gameplay but because of its rarity so i'm gonna give it a shot anyways a friend of mine dared me to try to go through the whole thing so i'm gonna try it and see so that is pretty much it for today's pickups hey what's going on everybody this is garrett it is saturday june 30th and these are some of my pickups uh throughout the week um some of these i'm gonna skip because you guys have already seen the, the you know the clips of the video prior to this one so I won't be redundant and, and you know, talk about it again, basically. All right, over here, $2 a piece for each game, no tax. Uh, a pawn shop out here in Falcon. Um, every once in a while, they'll come across, you know, some games. 
I did buy a um, Nintendo Switch from them, the Splatoon edition for $125 out the door. Um, I think that's on my Instagram account. Um, so if you're not already on my Instagram, it is Launchpad Arcade, which is a sorry L A U N C H P A D Arcade. Uh, anyways, two dollars a piece for these games: Banjo Kazooie, Super Mario 64. They had a couple other sports games, but I wasn't really interested. Those were the the best games out of the bundle. Um, Mario Kart 7, Lego Lord of the Rings, Transformers Prime: The Game, Lego Batman 2, Mario Kart DS, Lego Kaima. Lego City Undercover, Pokemon Channel, Amazing Island, and finally, Sonic Riders. So pretty awesome deal for $2 a piece. All right, next up, man, I should have put that on the bottom. I, that's probably the best game out of the lot here. So this was a $100 uh, let go lot that I picked up last night, um, Friday. So we got Marvel vs. Capcom 2. We've got Sword of the Berserk. We've got Choo Choo Rocket, Jet Grind Radio, we got Darkstalkers 3. It's missing the front and the manual. Um, the front front of the case and the manual. I do have the case for this and manual, so I'll, I'll be able to finally complete that. Uh, Vagrant Story. Gundam the Battlemaster, which is an imported game. And finally, Breath of Fire 3. 100 bucks. All right, next up, yard sale pickups from yesterday. Um, I work on Fridays, and it kind of sucks when yard sales happen on Friday because sometimes there will be some good ones. But if I can sneak off during my lunch break or something to go to a few. Um, I will to see if I can find anything. Uh, so in this case, I did find a couple of things. I did find a Sonic the Hedgehog um, Loot Crate exclusive for five bucks. Found a Widowmaker Overwatch pop figure for five bucks. Same yard sale. Different yard sale. Uh, brand new sealed Game Boy Color camera, the yellow one. Um, I'm not sure if this is actually new or not because in the front of the box, there's a tear, like somebody probably might have maybe pulled the camera through the box, I don't know, or maybe just something sat on it or got or punctured it, but anyways, the guy was firm on 20 bucks for this. I tried to talk him down because of the condition, but he was just insistent on uh, $20. Um, hey, this is from Target too, sorry, that's why I was getting a little distracted. So um, anyways, 20 bucks for this. Adding that to the collection. What we have here is uh, a pickup. <laughs> And it's a crazy pickup. I paid essentially $100 for all this stuff. Um, so what I'll do is I will cut over to the video of me yesterday <laughs> picking this up, just out of breath, full of excitement, and the backstory behind this pickup. Because this literally came to me. This fell in my lap. So stay tuned and check it out. Whew, man, I cannot believe this just freaking happened. I picked all this stuff up for $100 bucks just, just now. Man, I, I, I'm just, I'm out of breath because the whole time racing down here, I was just like, just anxious to get down here to pick this all up. So here's the backstory. So on uh, Wednesday evening, I was on Facebook and I was perusing the ads and it was kind of a, you know, just kind of, kind of dead on Facebook as far as anything, you know, good game related. And so I saw two ads from the same woman. One was for a Taiko drum master for the PS2 with the, with the Taiko drum for 10 bucks. And I always look at to see what else they're selling. And so she had another listing that had uh, like five copies of S SingStar Pop with two microphones for 10 bucks. So um, I wasn't really interested in those, those things, but I messaged her anyways, because as a rule of thumb, I always ask anyone that's selling PS2 and below if they have older games, because you just never know. You know, you never know if they have anything PSP or N64 or GameCube, you know, Wii, that kind of thing. So. Um, she had replied back right away and said, no, I don't have any of that stuff. And then that was that. So, um, today's Friday, June 29th. I'm at work and they're getting ready to cut us loose early at like 2.30. And I get a text message, not text message, a Facebook message from this woman saying, hey, I was cleaning out some stuff from my old house and found a bunch of Sega games. Are you interested? And so, and that was pretty much it. I didn't see any pictures. And so I saw the message and I was like, yes. Uh, do you have any pictures? So she sent over a picture of these Sega CD games and that Master Sister game. Sister. Master System game. Sorry, I'm just excited. And these two loose Sega CD games. And so I'd asked her, I was like, uh, how much do you want, you know, for everything? Because I'm, I'm definitely interested. So she said, does $20 work? And I said, yes. <laughs> 
that'll definitely work and I can actually pick it up within the next hour so on my way here to go pick it up I was like you know what I should probably offer her more money but after the transaction is done um, because I didn't want it backfiring on my face where I would offer her money more money like you know in text message and then she'd you know be like okay I'm gonna go start looking these things up or whatever and or why is he offering me more money so I was gonna wait till I got to her house to give her the twenty dollars and then offer her more money so anyways I looked at my wallet and I only had a hundred bucks on me so um, you know the, my plan was to just basically give her twenty dollars and then you know tell her what her stuff you know that she had some pretty good games that were worth some money and then I would offer her the rest so um, I got there, rang the doorbell, she had the stack of games, and then she said she also had these that she found that she would just throw in with everything. Um, and that, <laughs> fuck. That, I mean, when she, when she, oh, I can't even talk right now. When she showed me that stuff, I was just like, you know, I was like, oh my gosh, this is like, this just keeps, this keeps just getting better. You know, I was like, kicking myself in the ass because I didn't have that much money on me you know I, I wanted to offer her more than just a hundred bucks you know for everything so you know I told her thanks for throwing those in and so I gave her the twenty dollars and then after I gave her the twenty dollars I said hey look you know I'm a collector I've been you know I've been collecting for so long I have a game room and uh, I look for these things and some of these things are valuable and you know to be honest with you you have a lot of you know pretty decent valuable titles here um, and I wanted to offer you, you know, you more money, you know, but unfortunately all I have is $80, you know, extra that I can give you. And so she was like, you know what? Um, I really appreciate that gesture. It'll help a lot because, you know, she told me she was in the middle of a, a bitter divorce and the house that she was moving out of, um, which I met up with her at was, um, her and her ex-husband's. So she was cleaning out the attic and found some old things that he decided not to take with him during that split. So, um, she decided to, you know, sell those off. And I guess a Tyco game and the, um, the SingStar games were his as well. Uh, she's still looking for more stuff. So, anyways, I, I know I keep rambling, but I'm just, I'm just freaking stoked right now. You have no freaking idea. I mean, this is just. Ugh. So, anyways, um, so I gave her the 80 bucks. You know, we shook hands, and I told her, you know, you have my, you have my Facebook message. Please, 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 if you find any more things like this or anything Nintendo or whatever, you know, let me know, and and I'll offer you more money for those things. You know, because I didn't know, I didn't know what to expect from you know this transaction so um, that's why I just took the $20 and I didn't want her to get suspicious and try to you know charge me retail or whatever I didn't know anything about her but she ended up being a, a really nice gal um, who was just you know getting rid of some of her ex-husband's belongings which I can understand I even joked with her you know I was like you know this is kind of like bitter revenge <laughs> bittersweet revenge eh? you know and she kind of just chuckled so anyways um you know to cut the story short um, all this stuff right here for a hundred bucks um, so the games are V, Lunar, Dracula, uh, was it Dracula Unleashed, Lunar 2, Potful Male, Echo the Dolphin, Fantasy Star, Sherlock Holmes, and then that's the Sega Classics, which is like the, like four games in one. Uh, she threw in for free as part of the bundle, the Sega Nomad. She said she didn't know if it worked or not. She just said it was in another box. Um, and those two N64 games. So very, very happy to get these for a hundred bucks. Um, I wish I had more money on her because I honestly, I probably would have gave her like $200, but um, hopefully she'll find some more stuff and then maybe I can, you know, give her a little bit more money. Um, depending, I guess, on the, on what, you know, what she has and how, and, and the value it's, of it. So anyways, <laughs> sorry for rambling. I'm just super duper excited over this stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, <laughs> this is a good start to the weekend. I mean, even if I don't find anything this weekend, this is good enough for me. I mean, insane. All right, so pretty crazy, right? I mean, man, I could barely talk and, you know, I was out of breath. I mean, it was just it was just crazy. Again, it's all about positive karma. You know, I believe that, um, you know, if you do good things, um, the universe balances itself in your direction um, in any shape or form. It doesn't necessarily have to be a good, you know, a, like a good pickup. It could be like, you know, good health and, you know, good life and, and whatnot so just remember always pay it forward uh, you know don't think selfish um, you know be as honest as you can and um, you know good things will happen I mean that's just the way I look at life it's all, it's all karma to me uh, so anyways I'm moving along uh, this stack of games we already covered um, you guys already saw the clip of that that was uh, part of a $30 um, DS light pickup that I picked up before work 
All right, moving along, got some various pickups. I picked all, I picked this up off of uh, Craigslist. It was a guy that had a bunch of N64 games listed. Uh, he said prices vary. So I just picked out um, the three best games because um, the rest were like sports or games I already had. And I'd ask him how much he wanted for everything. He said 20 bucks. It was a little more than I wanted to pay, um, but I went ahead and picked it up anyways. So we've got Donkey Kong 64. Pokemon Snap, and finally the Legend of Zelda, which has a pretty faded label. Um, the gold is pretty much, the gold looks yellow, basically. So 20 bucks for that. This was a Facebook pickup, I believe. Um, this one was $20, he had it listed at 25. I asked him if he would take 20, if I met, met up with him you know, within the hour, he said yes. Um, it did not come with any games or uh, charger or, um, or stylus. I don't even know if it has a memory card in here or not. Nope, no memory card. Um, but I did turn it on and it works, so that was, to me, that's a pretty good deal. Uh, this one over here was a $60 pawn pickup. I was really surprised to see this at a pawn shop. Um, this is a Japanese imported Neo Geo Pocket. It is a white version. Um, as you can see in, through the uh, window, it's got the original plastic baggie on it and it came with all the instruction manuals. Um, I don't even know if this is worth $60. I didn't even bother looking it up. Um, but... Um, I mean, when do you see a Neo Geo Pocket, especially a Japanese imported white one? I mean, you know, I, I just, I, I paid it um, and they didn't even charge me tax on it, which was awesome. All right, what we got here, let's move this stuff to the side. This is a $100, $110 out the door pawn pickup. And I'm gonna give a pro tip while I'm at it. So, have you ever gone to a pawn shop and you guys notice the same games, the same electronics, just sitting there for weeks, months, sometimes years? Well, let me let you on on a little secret on these pawn, on, on these things that just sit. So if you see something sit for more than maybe three or four months and it's just, it's, it's still there at that point, some pawn shop, um, some pawn shop staff will start looking at how much they have into it versus how much it's worth. So, um, you know, all these items that I picked up were items that sat for at least six months. I mean, I've, I've been going to this pawn shop off and on and I and, and I'm pretty sure it's been at least a half a year that these items have been sitting around. So what I usually do at that point is I usually will say, hey, if I pick out a bunch of stuff that you guys have had sitting around, would you guys, you know, hook me up? And they're like, and usually they're like, yeah, let's just see how much we have into it. So um, 110 bucks got me all the stuff out the door. You know, they, they priced it so that, you know, after tax, it came out to 110 bucks, which was awesome. So these two calculators alone at the, on the top will pay for everything underneath it. So we've got two TI-84 Plus CE calculators with the, with the charging cables. We've got uh, the 25th anniversary of Super Mario All-Stars, Bayonetta 2 First Print, Zombie U, Shovel Knight, Super Smash Brothers Brawl, uh, Family Game Night 3, and finally, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Atlas Pro Edition. So 110 bucks for all that stuff. All right, next up, what we have here is a $10 bundle that I picked up from a yard sale. I went to a yard sale this morning and there was just this sitting on the table. Um, I already knew what it was. It's the Akuma 15th Anniversary Street Fighter um, controller for the PlayStation 2. Um, so I asked him if he had any other games and he said no. His wife heard the conversation and said, wait a minute, I know you have like some CD holder that has games in it. So he's like, oh yeah, that's right. So he walks in, comes back out, has a CD case full of uh, PS2 games and PS1 games, and I cherry picked three. And then I asked him how much, you know, for the stack, and he said 10 bucks. So 10 bucks got me the controller, Mobile Suit Gundam Journey to Jaburo, Looney Tunes Sheep Raider, which is a pretty expensive game complete. And then finally, dun dun dun. Mega Man Legends 2. Um, the disc is not in the best shape, but I mean, this alone, you know, it's probably like $30 game, loose. Um, so pretty awesome to see that in there. Um, I even asked him, I was like, hey, do you have the cases for these games? And he was like, yeah, I think I might. And so he pointed to a box that had like DVDs in there. Um, but unfortunately I could not find the cases for these games because that would have been awesome to find at least these two games, uh, you know, complete. But 10 bucks. All right, moving along. All these games I got for five bucks for the stack. Um, this was in Falcon, and I'm not sure which four games were priced at 50 cents each, but um, essentially four, it broke down to you know four games being 50 cents each and then a dollar each for the other three. 
And there's some pretty solid titles here. Um, Family Game Night 4, Star Trek, Resident Evil Revelations, Fable Anniversary, Alien Isolation, Capcom Digital Collection, XCOM Enemy Within. So five bucks for the stack. All right. Moving along. So this was a pickup um, in Falcon. So after my yard sales in Springs this morning, I went, um, I decided to wrap up my day in Falcon and I saw a listing for a small community yard sale, but I only had two addresses listed, which is weird. Um, so I went to the first one and that one didn't really have much. And so the guy had said, hey, my neighbor next door is also having it. She used to take care of a bunch of foster kids. So she may have some video game stuff. So I went and drove over there and it didn't look like much. It was like a barn with a detached house. And um, I was like, oh man, I, I don't even know what they have. Um, but I went there anyways. It was like 20 more minutes extra for me of a drive from where I live, more further east um, to get to this yard sale. Um, so I struck out on the first one. The second one, he, he referred me to the second one and it definitely did not disappoint. When I got there, and you guys will see pictures of everything um, either after the video or on my Instagram um, where I show that it looks literally like nothing. And then when I walk inside the house, she had a trunk full of games. I had a price tag of, I think, I want to say it was $40 for all in the trunk, but you can't take the trunk. Um, and it's in the picture too. Uh, and then she, in front of the trunk, she had all this stuff here. And it said like Super Nintendo... $35 for all. And then she had a Wii bundle for like 150 bucks. So maybe she figured that the, you know, the Wii was more current, more expensive, that kind of thing. So I look at the games and I asked her, hey, if I you know, bought everything in the trunk and what's in front of it, um, you know, could, could you throw in these, these five games? So I, I cherry picked five games. She's like, yeah, that's fine. So I started looking through everything and I discovered, you know, there's a, there was a Dreamcast in there too. I'm not gonna show everything because everything, these are pretty much the good things that were in the, in a lot. You can see the in, th in the pictures what was included. I just pulled the good things out of it. Um, so it was a total of $75 for everything. And then I saw that the Dreamcast was busted. Um, I saw that this Game Boy had a missing um, screen, you know, screen cover. And so I had asked her if she would be willing to take 60 for everything. And she was like, yep, I just don't want it. I'm moving. Get it out of here. So 60 bucks. Um, awesome deal for all this stuff. And again, if you want to see everything that was included, uh, check out the pictures on my Instagram. Um, I may put them at the end of the video. So uh, we've got Super Mario Brothers 3, two Game Boys, one missing the screen cover, and of course both of them are missing the back covers, battery covers. We've got Family Feud. This is in there. It's complete, 100% complete. We've got a Ninten uh, Super Nintendo, which is in pretty decent shape. We've got one in not so good shape, yellowed. And then a stack of games, stack of decent games. Uh, we got Monopoly and Super Mario Kart. We got Mario is Missing and Wario Woods. Super Seizures Palace and Mr. Do. Donkey Kong Country, Donkey Kong Country and Mortal Kombat. Pac-Man 2 and Earthworm Jim. And then these are the five uh, games that I asked if I could throw in the bundle. And so they're Mario Party 8, Super Mario Brothers Wii, Mario Strikers Charge, Super Paper Mario, and Wii Sports Resorts. And so I went on Facebook and I saw this listing for um, two different lots, this Game Boy lot here and this, sup this uh, Super Nintendo lot. So the Game Boy lot was priced at 50 and this was priced at 40. The ad was uh, more than an hour old, 58 views. I was like, you know what, why not? I'll just, I'll see. So I said, I'm interested. Um, they said it was still available. Uh, shockingly and it didn't even say that anybody was like waiting for you know it was pending pickup or anything it was just like it's available so I was like hey you, you know I'm about 20 minutes away well t 30 minutes away in Falcon they live in Monument which is about 30 minutes away from here um, if I came now you know could I come pick it up and they were like yeah sure and I was like oh also I forget before I forget um, you know could you do $40 for um, the, the Game Boy bundle and so you know 80 bucks for both and they were like yeah we can do that for sure so for 80 bucks um, got a bunch of stuff and it's worth the $80, trust me. And what I did for this one was, you guys will see the picture of the, uh, the Facebook listings after the video. Um, what I did was I just gambled on this and I got this from CJR cause he did that with that, that awesome Chrono Trigger, 
um, like the, the two Chrono Triggers he got, you know, he basically just paid for a bunch of games and didn't even bother looking at it. He just took his chance. He took a chance because the price was right. And that's what I did here. The price was right, so I decided to take a chance. Um, the pictures, the first pictures on the ad did kind of clue in on what was in there, but not too much. Um, you know, there were just a few games stacked on top of each other. Um, I could barely make out some of the games. I knew in this lot there was um, this game here. And of course the John Way, um, John Elway quarterback. Um, so this right here, 40 bucks, uh, Retro Duo it was included. One of the controllers is busted, but we got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We got John Elway's quarterback and then uh, Mario Duck Hunt, which is always a treat to see. <laughs> Sarcasm. All right, and then we have a good stack of good games here. We got Donkey Kong Country 3. We got all of them actually. Super Mario World, X-Men Mutant Apocalypse, Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong Country 2, The Lion King, Spider-Man, X-Men Arcade Revenge, The Jungle Book, and finally NBA Jam. So to me, that's worth 40 bucks. Um, and again, I didn't even know what was in there until I actually picked it up um, we went, when we went through everything with the seller. That's when I saw all the games and I was like, sweet, and I saw this first. So when I saw that, I, I knew that you know this Game Boy lot would be pretty decent too. So Game Boy Color, no battery back. I, I believe I have an extra one downstairs. Um, it came with a charging pack, the light, you know, magnifying glass because these screens were so tiny at the time. Um, okay, I'm not even gonna pull the games out. So we've got Pokemon Blue, Star Wars, Super Mario Land 2, Wario 2, all the Donkey Kong Lands. We've got Donkey Kong Land 2, 3, and the first one, Gex 3, Wario Land, Wario 3, Donkey Kong Country, Frogger 2, Earthworm Jim, and finally Gex. So 40 bucks was, to me, a pretty good deal for that too. So after I picked this up, I went to a Goodwill, since I was in town, and found this awesome thing there for, what did I pay for that? $9.99, I don't know if you can see that. Um, the only drawback is it's missing the, the cable. Um, so I think this is either for a Super Nintendo, I don't know, I'll do some research, but all I need to do is purchase the adapter and then I'm good to go. But it was awesome to see this Capcom fighting stick for 10 bucks at a Goodwill. And I think that pretty much concludes everything for now. Um, again, it's Saturday, June 30th. Uh, tomorrow is the 1st of July. Um, I'm probably going to go hit up the flea market to see if you know I can find anything depending on the weather. It did rain today and it did hail. Um, late in the afternoon, so we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll hit up a couple of you know Sunday only yard sales and see what I can find. Anyways, thank you for watching. Stay tuned after the video for all the screenshots and and all that stuff, um, and possibly pickups for tomorrow. What up, YouTube? This is Garrett DJ Deuce. I'm walking with my boy. What up, Dr. Fat Body, CSG's very own. Yeah, we're just chilling right now. It's a Sunday, July 1st. I'm trying to see what we can find out here. So. Stay tuned. We'll see if we can find anything cool out here. Yeah. All right, so we had a pretty decent day at the flea market today. You want to let everybody know who you are and what you found? Yeah, man. So I'm Dr. Fatbody, Cyberstorm Gaming's very own speedrunner. I'm twitch.tv slash CSG Dr. Fatbody. Primarily collect for Sega Genesis and some other stuff, so we're going to go ahead and show you guys. All right, so, so we, got here? we got some Sonic 3, Light Crusader, Echo. Um, somewhere around here, yeah, we got Terminator 2. Um, Some you know, Simpsons box stuff. Got real stuff. So this is pretty funny. I paid eight dollars for this guy, and then immediately found a variant of it for a dollar right yeah, I was afterwards. There. I saw that. I was like, oh man. Uh, Bible adventure games. You know, it was just some rare unlicensed games, and then you know. Just Snowboard Kids 2, yeah. Yep, Snowboard one. Kids 2, and then just some filler, man. Some some Kingdom Hearts. You got Sonic Gems, uh, Zone of the Enders. So yeah, some good finds in there. Nice. And what you got in here? Uh, and here, man, we just grabbed some commons. And, you know, $2 a piece on these NES games and Super Nintendo stuff. Yeah, so uh, uh, pro tip, you know, if you, if you can buy games for really cheap, oh, yeah. I would say get them because if you get a system, you can always bundle it and make it look more appealing. Yep. So, yeah, definitely pick up some commons whenever you can, especially if you can get them on the cheap. Um, and he's got some other ones over here too, Mario Paint. So yeah, we had a pretty good day. I'll go over my stuff um, in a bit uh, when I get home. Um, but just you know, just a little sneak peek. Not the Genesis box. That's just an empty box and whatever. But um, so uh, that Star Wars case is filled with '70s and '80s figures. That one is as well. So I'll go over that more in depth uh, when I get back to the house. 
Um, these weren't cheap. I actually paid $100 per, but you guys will see later on um, why I paid that much. So, all right, stay tuned. All right, so here is a quick overview of the Star Wars lot that I picked up from the flea market this morning for $200. So I guess this was kind of the highlight of uh, every collector's day out there because literally I was walking around with these in my hands and everybody kept asking me if the figures were in if figures were in there and I was like yes pretty much every single slot is filled with stuff so um, I even got a couple of offers while I was out there um, one guy wanted to pay me 300 for it um, but I kind of held off a little bit because I wasn't really sure if all this stuff was worth a little more so I consulted with uh, Secret Game Secret Gamer Stash. Um, his name is Juan. He has a YouTube channel. Um, so I messaged him and said, "Hey, this is what I found today. You know, what do you think?" And he was like, "You know, this can go anywhere from four to six hundred dollars on the bay." All right. So after buying that huge Star Wars lot, I decided to do a couple more laps at the flea market, and I ran into a seller named Errol who was selling all this stuff here. Um, he wanted 250 originally for everything, and it was a little bit high priced because that NES is yellowed, um, and you know there were only a couple of games. So I'd asked him if he would be willing to sell the game separately because I was really only interested in three. Um, we went back and forth with uh, bickering and bartering. I got him down to 160, and it got to the point where even at 160, I was still undecided until he said, you know, I'll just throw in these three games. And they're not much. I mean, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance is like a $16 game. I'm not really sure how much. I know Final Fantasy XII is, I don't know, at best maybe $7 to $10. Uh, I'm not sure on the Crash Minor Remutant. But um, 160 was a little bit pricey for me. But, I mean, still, I knew the value of some of the games here. So um, I'll be able to at least chip away at some of that amount. All right, so after I was packing up all the stuff, uh, I heard a voice saying, like, hey, don't you have a YouTube channel? So I looked up, and it was this guy. His name is Kevin. And I was like, yeah, I didn't. I only now started remaking videos for um, my channel. Uh, like I, I uploaded one like a few days ago, and he was like, oh, cool, I gotta check it out. He was like, you want to hunt together? I was like, yeah, sure. Uh, I was getting ready to wrap up anyways, and, and you know, leave for the day. So we did a couple of laps together, um, and he knows the owner's son of one of the video game stores inside the flea market. So I pointed out these four games. Um, he bought. Kevin bought a bunch of other games. He had a box full of stuff. I don't, I don't even know how much he paid, but my end of everything ended up being 50 bucks, which I think is a great deal. Um, so I got Urzog Zwi or Zwi. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, Revenge of the Ninja for the Sega CD. Uh, Cyborg Justice and Splatterhouse 3. So 50 bucks for that. Uh, I thought it was a pretty good deal. Um, so we did a lap. We did another lap. Uh, he found some things. Um, and I found this in a, a box full of CDs, and the CDs were only a dollar, so I paid a dollar for this. And this is Crash Bandicoot, the greatest hits version. It is missing the front manual page, or it might be missing a couple of pages. But I do have an extra, I have a, quite a few of these, um, actually, in a tub. So I'll be able to complete that. The disc is in about 8 out of 10 condition, um, so I'll be able to test it and then just list it. All right, anyways, uh, and this is the final pickup. Uh, this... These I paid $5 a piece. These are Sony uh, voice activated recorders. Um, these can sell anywhere from 30 to 50 bucks. So if you guys see them, please pick them up. But do like I do. I carry a, a bunch of batteries in my backpack uh, to test out calculators. I, so I have AAA batteries and I have AA batteries. So I can test out calculators, uh, Game Boys, Game Boy Advances, and these if I run into them. Or Walkmans. Certain certain Sony Walkmans I'll, I'll pick up and, and test. So uh, just a... Uh, Pro tip right there just make sure you, you're always prepared i even have a screwdriver to take apart nintendo and super nintendo carts um just in case i run into a seller that's trying to sell something like a, a grail or some rare game for close to retail i want to make sure at least that, that it's a legit cart before you know giving that person my money so anyways guys and gals that is pretty much it for this video